hello, hello, and welcome to Nails for the Week. My name is Lori, and I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day today. I know I am, because you're here, and we get to play in the nail room. So let's get started. Okay, I have a haul for from Target today, and I just bought these tapes in the little dollar section that they have at the front of the store. I just thought they were cute and they would work really well for some nail art. I could find something to do with them. And then I noticed when I took them out of the package that the dispensers kind of pull apart and you could put, and I thought, huh, I wonder if I could fit like a striping tape in there if I wanted to use them for striping tapes. And they fit perfectly. The only thing is, is there's that, you know, hole there but I, in the center. But I bet you could definitely use these dispensers for, you know, if you just put like some tape right there in the center. I bet you could definitely use these for striping tape if you wanted when you're all done with the other tape. And I got a few different clearance polishes. This one is here to stay. It's a Sally Hansen, I think they're called Mega Strength. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first one. It's just a gray taupe. And it's just a really nice cream. It's, you know, it's taupe. It is what it is, gray taupe. This one is called Rule Breaker. But I wanted to share this with you because I thought, you know, if you have a Target near you, you might want to run over there and check out some of the clearance polishes. They have a lot of Essie and a lot of Sally Hansen. There's the first coat. It's pretty, it's kind of um, streaky on the first coat, but clears up no problem on the second coat. It's just a nice pretty dark burgundy cream. Next we have a piggy paint. I have I only paid a dollar forty nine for it, but I never tried this is my first time trying the piggy paints. I always kind of wondered if they peeled off or something, but they don't they're not peel off paints. They're just better for the environment and it's a really nice creamy formula it was almost opaque in one coat but as you can see there but there was a little bit of visible nail line and I'm sure if you have longer nails than mine that they'll definitely be it's a just a nice pretty lavender maybe slightly on the pink side of lavender color. That's pretty cute. And th this is the only essay I bought because I thought $4.48 was expensive for clearance nail polish. I like to get mine a dollar or less because I'm cheap. <laughs> and this is just a sheer, it is a very sheer peach with a, with gold glitters in there. I thought it was really pretty. And we're moving on to the Insta Dries. This is Pepe Le Fuchsia. Just a night, nice bright fuchsia pink. Very party. And it has a really good formula. It's just like any other Sally Hansen Insta Dry. And I bumped my thumb. Isn't that cute? <laughs> But on to the second coat anyway. Nice and opaque in two coats. That's pretty. That's pretty nail polish. Just a normal cream. And as you can see, what was that? $1.27 or something? I can't remember exactly. But it was, you know, fairly cheap. And this one is in a flash. And this one is, I don't know if it's supposed to be a topper, but it's like all shimmer and then it 
it's gold, the like platinum type gold. But it's got uh, when you turn the nail and stuff, there's a pink reflect pink and like a light pale green reflect in there. It's really pretty. Unfortunately, the camera really didn't pick it up. And I just thought, hey, I've got all this polish on. We might as well just see what in a flash looks like over all of the other colors. And it actually covered really well. So I'm thinking that I probably would wear it over the top of a, like a cream color or something just to uh, give it a little bit more opacity. But it really does look nice over that pink, that pepe de fuchsia. Okay, next up, I actually got this off of eBay, but I just wanted to show it to you. It's supposed to, like, bend metal, the really thin metal charms. It is so tiny and so cheap. I just really was not impressed with that. Open a fine baby. And this was a kit that I got for $2.87. Really cheap. I figured I could use that stuff or something but that is everything that i got from target and the one ebay thing now if you're wondering about the mark arts in there that is i decided just to do a whole separate swatch and review video on that one but i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i put it up in time for you to find some more clearance stuff at your local Target, and have a great day. Bye!